your names for the folks at home, would you? Lauren. And? Kenneth. Lauren and Kenneth. What charming accents you have. <laughs> Lauren and Kenneth, are you related? Yes. Good. <laughs> you want to know the relation? Yes, yeah. I would like to yeah. know. Father and daughter. Father and daughter. I'm sorry if you can't understand that. <laughs> but it makes me feel very warm inside. <laughs> now, what part of Scotland are you from? Glasgow. Glasgow. I see they're making snazzier shirts in Glasgow than they used to. <laughs> That's a very attractive collar. I've just oh, noticed it. Thank you very much. It's very thank nice. Very much. Did you get that in Glasgow? I did indeed, yes. <laughs> yes. Nice. I didn't pay for it, but I got it. What? <laughs> <laughs> what part of Glasgow are you from? East End. The East End? East. Which part of the East End? Berlanark and Bailiston. Oh, I used to take the bus through Bailiston. 62. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's just where you're wrong. The 62 doesn't even go through Bailiston! <laughs> Actually, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it, it does. does. <laughs> what are you, uh, what are you doing here in Los Angeles? Yeah, traveling the world. Oh, nice! So that you won't be here long, then? <laughs> <laughs> you're making a wise choice. This is... Los Angeles, if you don't know, is, uh... It's a dump. <laughs> So, uh, oh, that's rather nice, going round the world. Lovely. Mm. Where have you been so far? Hong Kong, Perth and Australia, Brisbane, Sydney, here. And then we go to New York on Friday and then back home. And then back home. Didn't get any of that, you get it? <laughs> <laughs> do, you think, do you think my accent has changed being here? Is it very American sounding yep, to you? definitely. A little bit, yes. yes. Really? Yes. Because people have said that to me, and I'm like, no, because Americans are like, no, you're pretty Scottish, and... But Scottish people are like, oh, how would you like it in Texas, Mr. Giant Hat? <laughs> well, I think that kind of thing, you better get out before it happens to you, then. Special <laughs> 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 break, is that what you're saying? <laughs> well, just wait, I've got some friends here. <laughs> We have to go to the commercial break. Okay. Mm. So where are you going next then? New York. New York, that's what I thought. Have you been there before? Yeah, I have. He's not. Have. You've never been? Uh, not been here. Oh, no, it's nice. It's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you wear that shirt in New York. Yeah. You'll be amongst your own kind. <laughs> I don't even know what I mean by that, really. <laughs> Anyways, love, welcome to America. I hope you enjoy your time here and, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> Scotland's nice, isn't it? Snowing. It's snowing in Scotland, snowing. is it? Yep. Snowing this morning, yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I miss it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you worried about your commercial break? I would be. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. The entire lesbian row is on camera right now. <laughs> All right. Ladies, as I tap you on the shoulder, please say your name for the folks at home. Lynn Scanlon. <laughs> Madison Scanlon. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Mackenzie Jude. Mm -hmm. Karen Jude. <laughs> I believe that's what's called a royal flush. <laughs> Ladies, why are you here? To see you. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> Where are you from? Michigan. 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 <laughs> All of you? <laughs> Detroit, Michigan? Yes, kind yeah, of. Well, near there. Area. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been to Detroit and I didn't see you. <laughs> All right. I have a question. And whoever answers correctly gets a surprise. Don't look! <laughs> In Michigan, what is the predominant industry? Cars. <laughs> is it? Yeah, I thought it might be. I wasn't sure, though. <laughs> no. I, th I knew it wasn't Detroit, but I thought there might be something else in other places. Where 
are you right now? <laughs> but you really have to pay attention. The main idea is so I'm trying to stand right. I'll be better. Stay with me. I will. I will. I'll, 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 I'll be I will. <laughs> Now, are you on vacation here in Los Angeles? We lived here. We, we live moved. here. Oh, yeah. you lit? You moved here now. Are you yeah. come to visit them? That's yeah. right. Oh, that's adorable! <laughs> and did you two grow up together? Yes. yes. And did you two grow up together? Kind of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't really want to talk about no. it? No. <laughs> Gotten a little awkward, hasn't it? <laughs> Let's embrace that awkwardness. <laughs> See how uncomfortable you feel right now? That's what it's like growing up Scottish. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home. Uh, Janine. Janine? Julie. Janine and Julie. You related in any way? We are twins. Really? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. So, let me ask you. Do you find that uh, men uh, have some kind of weird sexual fantasy about twins? Or am I just imagining that? <laughs> it's only you. <laughs> I've heard that. You, you have? Yeah. Do you guys argue a lot? Maybe like, you know, oh, no, you uh... <laughs> Only with pillows, right? Uh, right, okay. Where are, you, where are you from? I'm from LA. She's from Milwaukee. No, no, how is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> Your mother must have moved like lightning. <laughs> originally, I meant, originally, where are you Chicago. From? Chicago. Mm -hmm. mm. That's nice. You don't, you don't live in the. Why, why, what are you, why are you together in LA then? Are you having a um, family? A uh, birthday. birthday. I'm out here for her birthday. You're out here for her birthday. And, <laughs> and I stayed for her birthday. I see. <laughs> you, did, you didn't really. You, you, when you grew up, your parents didn't dress you the same and all that. So well, you, they did. Oh, they did? Yeah. I, you probably didn't like that, did you? We couldn't tell each other apart. Really? <laughs> The whole idea of this thing is that, you know, I don't look like too much of a douche. You're making me look like a douche. You know? Who's the bargain? Who's the bargain? Who's the bargain? Well, that's great. Uh, we're going to send you to a top LA restaurant for your birthday, I've just decided. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you get anyone else with you? Are these uh, your, your friends? Could be. They're they nice. could be your friends? Did you just come on your own? Yeah. Oh, how awesome. Yeah. And you were sitting in lesbian row? <laughs> I got nothing. What uh, top LA restaurant are we going to send them to? What's your favorite steakhouse? Uh, oh, Wolfgang's Place. Yeah, yeah uh, Cut. It's a very expensive... Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, you be well, you audience. Yes. Now. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You know what happens at Cut? They bring the meat to your table before they cook it. <laughs> it's the top spot for vampires. <laughs> <laughs> I know I should throw it a commercial break, but I'm very happy standing where I am. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Played it? Please state your names for the folks at home. Robin. Robin. Karen. Karen. Robin. Karen. Are you friends? Since grade four. Since grade four. Do you share a similar taste in clothes? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Fat girls have it difficult. No, no, I will not have you do that. That's not what we say here. We say beautiful women dress any way they please 
and sometimes it's to do with a leafy <laughs> Now, let me ask you this. Where are you from? Moose Jaw. Moose Jaw? It's about 40 miles from Regina. It's about 40 miles from Regina. <laughs> I think we just got tonight's theme. <laughs> I can't help but noticing that if you're only living 40 miles from Regina, that would make you reasonably Canadian. Very Canadian. Very Canadian. Are you also Canadian? I'm very Canadian. As well. I see. How are you enjoying freedom? <laughs> Lovely being here. Do, do, do you enjoy California? Why are you in California? To see you. You're kidding me. Really? Every night. I go to Canada all the time. You never saw us? Damn. I did see you. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here. But, but the whole thing is that I try and do the... I try and... and you're just, you're just making, you're making me look like a douche here. <laughs> all right, okay, let's get back. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> given that you're both Canadian, I'd like you to answer the following question, and if you get it correct, you win a prize, which I've just decided. <laughs> I'm slowly turning this thing into a game show. Why? <laughs> because I feel like it. <laughs> right, if you answer this question correctly, you get, um, what have you got there, Michael? Um, you get, uh, you get a surprise. <laughs> is the question. In Canada, there are over three types of beaver. <laughs> true or not true? True. Close. <laughs> False, I will accept. It is, in fact, not true. And you have won a... Large uh, hat. No? You've won hats. You've won hats. Hats. Uh, that you've won these hats that are advertising the recent Disney release of a few years ago of Secretariat. <laughs> Not as easy as it looks, is it, buddy? All right. You ready? Absolutely. All right, let's go. Please state your name for the folks at home. Bruce. Bruce, if that's your real name. What is your second name? Bruce. Bruce, Bruce. <laughs> that way I remember it. Is that true? Yes. Really? No. <laughs> You're pretty good. <laughs> what is your second name, Bruce? Philip. Really? Yeah. Bruce Philip? Yeah. And then is there a name after that? Absolutely. Ah. <laughs> uh, 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 what's your third name? Mendelssohn. Mendelssohn. Like the composer? No. <laughs> Close, though. What do you mean, no? No extra H's, no extra N's. H's. Oh, did they uh, take them off when uh, your family came to America? Yeah. In case they were persecuted for having H's? <laughs> yes. We don't like none of them H's around here. Why, there's a lot of consonants in that name, stranger. <laughs> so, Bruce, there's a lot of Australians called Bruce. Do you know that? Yes, I do. Ever been to Australia? Yes, I have. What part? Uh, All of you? All of you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're like a double line. <laughs> Just the East Coast. Thing. East Coast, yeah. That's me too. Me too. I went there. You go to Sydney? Yes. Uh, Melbourne? Yes. Adelaide? No. You should have gone to Adelaide, man. Yeah. Went to Tasmania instead. Tasmania? Yeah. Oh, that's the little island off the bottom, yeah. the little kind of dangly bit off the edge of yeah. uh, the little sort of Australia's scrotum, if you will. <laughs> they say it's nice there, Tasmania. Yeah, we had a devil of a time. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, 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 you're going a little too fast. You're going a little too fast. What's happening is, you know, it's good. It's it's nice. It's nice to see enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is good, but but sometimes it can overwhelm you and just become. Sorry. All right. What did put? So, um, so you went to Australia. Where are you from, Bruce? Ohio. Oh. What a surprise. <laughs> Which which part of Ohio? Northeast Ohio, near Cleveland. Near Cleveland? Yes. So not actually Cleveland? No, not actually Cleveland. Why, do you have a problem with Cleveland? Yes. <laughs> One of my best friends comes from Cleveland. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> which part? All the of northeast. Them. <laughs> yeah, all of them. <laughs> Hang on a second. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't like it when you go back to back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well. Just say we'll be right back. We'll be right we'll back. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's birthday tonight, he's two. In robot years, that means he's... 384. All right. <laughs> so, we thought it'd be a, I thought it'd be a great idea if, you know, if I, um, if I invited Jeff's ex-girlfriend and heterosexual experiment... Uh, <laughs> Alex to come over and, you know, and wish him happy birthday, and we got him a hat, and, uh, things have gotten a little weird. <laughs> Look like a gay wizard. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. They have straight wizards? <laughs> I know. Yeah. So, uh, things being awkward, are you and Jeff, you know? A little bit. Yeah? Yeah, because Jeffrey Dean Morgan's on the show tonight. Yeah? Yeah, and I kind of have a crush on him. <laughs> a little bit. Would that bit. be because his first name is Jeffrey? <laughs> is it that or because he's handsome and human and, uh, and alive? Yeah. Partially. 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 And yeah. he's a little bit more brawny than Jeff. Yeah? Yeah. I'm standing right here. <laughs> This, this is why it got awkward, because all Alex can talk about is why Jeff is unattractive to her. <laughs> but Jeff, it was an experiment anyway, and, you know, you're gay, it was your heterosexual experiment, and, you know, you tried it out and it didn't work. Yeah, I think the fact that I also have no genitals was a problem. <laughs> was that a problem in your relationship? A little bit, yeah. yeah. So, what you're, so what you're saying is, that's what you require? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah, I, yeah. I feel awkward. <laughs> Maybe I should just leave you guys to, you know, figure things out on your own. I'll go and head over, uh, I don't know, NBC or something. <laughs> yeah, Alex, you want to go figure things out? Oh, okay. Backstage? Works every time. <laughs> what do you say? Works every time. What works every time? What I just did there. <laughs> But want to go and work things out? But saying it in that weird kind of creepy way? Like, want to go and work things out? Ooh, you want to go backstage? I can't believe it. It worked right there. Absolutely. Oh, do you two guys want to go and work things out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Best commercial break for me ever. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh, have we started? Oh, right, okay. Ladies, please state your name for the folks at home. Marty. Marty? Mardi. Mardi, yes. Mardi. And? AJ. AJ. Where are you from, ladies? Australia. Australia, you say? Oh. Ah. Ah. Please. Uh, which part of Australia are you from? I'm from Canberra. Canberra. Oh, great. <laughs> It is the capital. Canberra. I know it's the capital, but here's the thing I know about Canberra. Uh, Even Australians, die-hard mm, patriots of the lucky country, say Canberra is a crikey dinga. Damn. They do. They do. They do. I mean, uh, where are you from Canberra too? Uh, no, thank God. Oh. You see? You see? Now you're even, and you're an Australian. Correct. Where are you from? Well, I live in Beverly Hills, California now, but I'm from Sydney, Australia. They're exactly the same in many ways. They, they actually are. I've been to Sydney, Australia, and it seems like they are infested with Kardashians as well. 
really good. So are you visiting? Yes, I am. Do you know you were sitting in the front row there? And the front row, traditionally in this small, damp basement we call a television studio, is actually lesbian row. Ah, <laughs> now you tell us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Desperate singles. Uh, are you desperate singles? Uh, single, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Have you ever been so bored, maybe snowed in in a log cabin, that you decided to experiment with your sexuality? I, I wasn't snowed in, but yeah. All right, let's play. Let's say you weren't snowed in, but you were stuck in Canberra for the weekend. <laughs> How are you enjoying America? Are you having a nice time? Love it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very unlike Canberra in most yeah. places. Yeah. yeah. There's parts of America that are like Canberra, though. <laughs> no, I don't think that. I've never been to Canberra. What do you do in Canberra? Um, not much. Go to Sydney. Lots. Yeah. <laughs> Washington, it's the capital. What, Washington? All the politics and politicians are there. So oh, yes, yes. Pornography's yeah. legal and yeah, fireworks. Yeah, fireworks. Oh, pornography yeah. and fireworks. <laughs> so <laughs> long, sucker! <laughs> pornography and fireworks? What the hell am I doing in this dump? Do you hear that, Jeff? In Canberra, pornography and fireworks are legal! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Wait a minute, in many states in the Union, pornography and fireworks also legal. Not at the same time, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that kind of threw a bit of cold water on things there, didn't it? Well, I'm very glad that you made it here to the studio. Uh, yeah. Oh, guess what? There's an Australian guest tonight. Uh, we know. Oh, well, well, that's why you're here. Yeah. yeah. Please state your name for the folks at home, would you? Frida, Marielle, Nicole, Christine. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, where are you from? Norway. Norway! Norway. Norway. Hang on a second. <coughs> um, oh! oh. <laughs> yes, I keep the flags of many nations in my jacket. <laughs> what are you doing in America? Having a good time. <laughs> come here, man. Come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Don't try too hard. It kind of looks needy. Do you know what I mean? Bring it down here. That's what I do every night, and it looks kind of weird. It gives people a creepy vibe. You know what I'm saying? Or... So, girls, you're having a good time in America, are you? Do you know the Norwegian band Aha? Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is your last fart line. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know Aha, do you? <laughs> um, they're from Trondheim in Norway, aren't they? <laughs> yes, yes, they are. <laughs> no? No. no? no. no. <laughs> We're from Trondheim, though. You're from Trondheim? Yeah. No, uh, Aha are from Trondheim. They really are. No. Are you guys going to do some kind of Norwegian kick-ass ninja glug? Because <laughs> I'm in! <laughs> so what are you doing here? You're just on vacation? Yep. Yeah. 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 And you all live in this, you travel around together and solve mysteries? Because <laughs> I think that would work on the CW. <laughs> yep. Yep. I think if you guys went around in a car and solved mysteries while wearing great shoes, kids would love that. <laughs> Are you interested in, in, in Hollywood as a destination for a career, perhaps? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> then my powers are useless. <laughs> <laughs> then what, what do you do? What are you, what are you, what are, you, are you studying? No. 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 Just traveling. Just traveling. Uh, but you, what, you're like traveling people? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do in Norway? What do you study? Or are you study or work or? We have a free year. You have free air? 
Oh, you a have free a free year, year. like a gap yeah. year yeah. Uh, yeah. before uh, yeah. before, before university. Before yeah. university, what are you going to study at university? I'm going to study business. Business, yes. I'm going to be a nurse. A nurse, <laughs> <laughs> of course you are. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Mm -hmm. That's that's fine. And I don't know either. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just think I reached maximum creepy this evening. <laughs> but but I, I hope you guys have a great time. And we've got a prize for you, I've just decided. <laughs> what have you got? What have you got? Candy? I'm not giving candy to young girls. Come on. No, I'm not giving them any puppets either. I'm not giving them toys or candy. You're going to have to think of something else. Dinner? Dinner? Dinner! <laughs> Yeah, dinner. I'm not going though. <laughs> you send them to dinner. Where are you going to send them? What's your favorite place? I like Wolfgang Puck's place. We'll right, we're going. We're going to send you to Wolfgang Puck's restaurant. He's going to pay. <laughs> Your name for the folks at home, would you? Danielle. Danielle? Yes. Eastless. What? Eastless. Danielle Eastless? Yes, my last name literally means last name. Does it really? It does. That's amazing. I know. Do you know what Ferguson means in Scottish? No. Last name. Excellent. It does to me. <laughs> now, look, um, you've made a hair choice this evening. I did. And I have to say, I like it. I do. I Thank think you. it shows uh, it shows up on this floor, which is amazing. <laughs> and I think now has anyone been oppressing you or making fun of you because of your hair choice this evening? No, I've been getting actually lots of compliments about it. Really? Because that's not what I remember from our warm-up guy. <laughs> You can't please everyone. No, you can't, as I have proven many times over. <laughs> Good evening, Canberra, Australia. <laughs> now, may I ask you, Danielle, is there any particular reason why your hair is green? Uh, I wanted to go, I wanted to bring it to the Avengers premiere yesterday, but uh, there was just no like time. So I decided to bring it here because my dad uh, really, really loves this show, mm -hmm. and he's watching probably like right now. Well, not really right, yeah. Right, right now. <laughs> Sorry! Ignore that. So, <laughs> have you ever thought you can overdo it when asked the question? <laughs> Has anyone ever accused you of that? No, listen, do people say, oh, you've dyed your hair green? Is it, do you dyed your hair or is it a wig? It's actually a wig, but this is my real hair. So it looks, like, it looks better, apparently, with the black and the green together. So I'm just like, I'm going to have it OK, you've, you've said enough. <laughs> all right, sorry. People have accused me of dyeing my hair on this show. Do you see dye in this hair? I have no idea. Oh, come on! <laughs> I don't. No, and they've also said, when I first started on the show, remember that, what was that guy's name? Adam Buckman in the New York Post said that I looked like I was wearing a wig. He, that, was, that was eight years ago, and I still remember because I'm healthy. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody, we'll be right back. State your name for the folks at home. Uh, hello, I'm Morgan Rowan. Morgan <laughs> Rellen? Rowan, like oh. rowing a boat. Oh, like rowing a boat. <laughs> I see, Morgan. And you know what day it is? I think it's the 17th. Yes, it is. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Unless it's a rerun, in which case, get some cable. <laughs> so, uh, Morgan, did you pay your taxes today? Yeah. Well, I have till today, I have paid my taxes. You have paid your taxes before today? Yeah. Like last year doesn't count. You have to pay them again. No, like, like a couple weeks ago. Are you high? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, sh don't applaud. We don't know if she is yet. A little, are you a little high? No. You're just like in a good mood? Yeah, I'm, in a fa I'm here at Craig Ferguson. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Uh, no. No. 
No, this is not Craig Ferguson. <laughs> this, is this is CBS. This. <laughs> anyway, where are you from, Morgan? Northern California. Northern California, you say. Wine country. Do you press grapes with your feet, Morgan? Well, that's Napa. I'm more from the cow country. Oh, do you press cows with your feet? <laughs> yeah, the cow patties. Do you, do you actually uh, ride around and uh, um, rope cows and steer them? Yes, I have before. You've steered cows? Like, you know, maybe this is a career choice or that's a career choice? <laughs> no, I got the hell out of there. Is that what, what you're doing now? Well, now I'm just working and trying to do acting. And ah. I dibble dabble here and there. You dibble dabble? I dibble dabble. <laughs> is that a job? I consider it. No, it <laughs> I've considered a bit of dibble dabbling myself. <laughs> However, oh. I have to ask you one question. If you get it correct, you win Jeff Peterson. You can take him home tonight and do whatever you want with him. Yes? You have to get you have to get the question correct. The hill? Are you ready? Here is the question. How tall is my Uncle James that lives just outside of Glasgow? Five eleven. Ah, sadly. Very close. <laughs> but no. Sadly, you didn't win, Jeff. Uh, actually, you might have. No, you didn't. <laughs> it was a trick question. My Uncle James actually lives in the state of New York. Aha! <laughs> Thank goodness Figures. for that. And he's about 5'10". <laughs> well, it's going to be a good show tonight, I think. We'll <laughs> be right back. Awkward pause thing. No, don't, don't do the awkward pause yet. <laughs> don't be pushy. I have to do the walk up and down thing, and then the, you know, and, I, and then, then we'll see if you get some candy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Okay. Please state your name for the folks at home. Sharon Gartland. Sharon Gartland. <laughs> Where are you from, Sharon? Westlake Village, California. Westlake Village? Yes. And when I came out to meet the audience at the start of the show, you tried to attract my attention by going... <laughs> and I was like, what? And you went... <laughs> Can I have some candy? I just... uh, why do you think you should get some candy? Because I was paying really good attention to you. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I took more than one. You asked for one candy, and then you put your hand in my bag. You put my hand in my bag of candy, and you took all that candy that you could get in your claws. Which makes me think you're not lying when you say you're from California. You married? No. <laughs> did, did you go to boyfriend? No. <laughs> Who's that dude sitting next to you now? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know that dude? No, he's really cute. I met him in line. Really? <laughs> Here. Get out. Please state your name for the folks at home, would you? Catherine. <laughs> Just Catherine? <laughs> Nim. <laughs> That's my last name. Yes, I understand. Uh, Good for you. <laughs> thanks. Uh, where are you from, Catherine? Um, Orange County. Mm. Mm. I've been there. Have you? Yes, I have. Where, where were you? In Irvine. Irvine. Mm. I worked there. I didn't care for it. <laughs> Do you like it? Uh, yeah. Good, good, good. Probably best to say that if you live there. <laughs> oh, look, 
I just kicked over some candy. Oh. Did you bring candy with you? Actually, it's from the other guy. <laughs> wait, <That> wait. Guy. <laughs> the warm-up guy? I well, mean, he's, I... he's the other guy? Like, I'm a guy and he's the other guy? And that's all... <laughs> You're the only guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, Catherine Nim, if that is your real name, I don't I don't believe you. I think you're here for one reason, to see the warm-up comedian. No, I'm here for you, just you only. <laughs> I find this rather lovely. Well, I'm sorry that I was mean about Irvine. I actually thought Irvine was a lovely place full of very, very delightful people and a very pleasant restaurant or two. <laughs> Actually, I, I live in Costa Mesa. I work in Irvine. Oh, Costa Mesa. Yeah. That's nice. It's Spanish, you know. <laughs> yeah, a lot of it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's for uh, It's Spanish for um, Costa Mesa. <laughs> Do you, do you speak Spanish? I don't. I speak Vietnamese. Vietnamese? Yeah. Your family from Vietnam? Yeah. All of them are from Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> you you come from Scotland. I am, yes, yes, yes. You've really got this talk show thing down, haven't you? <laughs> it's good. You're good at it. Thank you. Thanks. So can, can I be your assistant for a first start? <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> Please uh, state your names and where you're from, would you? Lysian from Sydney. Mm. Sue from Perth. Mm. Patrick from Sydney. Mm. Sydney and Perth, would they be towns in Scotland? <laughs> no. Where are they? Sydney. <laughs> Australia. Yeah, Australia. Australia, yeah. Australia. Now, here's the problem. I don't know if you know this, but the Australian press have been giving me a very hard time recently. They've called me all sorts of names because they said I hated Canberra, which I don't. I've never been to Canberra, and... Yeah. <laughs> I don't really have any feelings. Well, I didn't have any feelings about Canberra until the Canberrans, or Canberronians, how, what do you call them? The people from Canberra. Well, not the, I don't know the people, but the, the, the Canberroons. Right, they were. Uh, they're very angry at me. They were saying I was bad mouthing their town, and apparently you're not allowed to bad mouth the town of Canberra unless you're actually from Australia. Is that true? Yes, very much. So. In that case, I'd like to apologise. I, I'd like to apologise, but I'm afraid I can't. <laughs> Even although it's been reported in the Canberra local paper that I did apologise, let me assure you I did not. Crikey! <laughs> what, happened was, what happened was that I apologised to... Who did I apologise to? A guest on the show. A guest on the show. <laughs> who was Australian? Please yeah, please. as I apologise to you, lovely Australians. And uh, I, I love Australia, the parts of it I've seen, and the way you all... Smell slightly of beer. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to apologize. <laughs> they don't smell of beer at all. You are lovely. Are you on holiday here in America? It's sort of, yeah. Yes. Yes. No, I live here. You live here? I do. Right. Do you, you didn't know each other before this? No. Whatever this is. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're going to stay in touch and become a, an Australian gang. Yes. <laughs> At Lesbian you, Row. In Lesbian Row. <laughs> well, you're in Lesbian Row and you're not in Lesbian Row. And yet you express a desire or maybe you're just curious to try. <laughs> Perhaps a little seat in Lesbian Row and see what it feels like. <laughs> Come sit with us. No. <laughs> Let's clear this up once and for all. I love Australia. I don't know anything about Canberra. I probably said some naughty things about Canberra as a... Crikey dingo! Joke. 
<laughs> when I was talking to another Australian. If that upset you, may I suggest you concentrate on something else. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to stop the larger Australian lesbian sitting on the smaller Australian. <laughs> right, there you are. Really? <laughs> hey, Tien, how are you? We're really. Right. Okay, just uh, stick with me through this bit. It's going to be great. <laughs> All right, please state your name for the folks at home, beginning with the gentleman in the center. My name's Al. Mm hmm. And you are? Renetta. Renetta, Alan Renetta. Have you ever met before tonight? No. <laughs> Al, you told me that you and Renetta were married. <laughs> when were you married, Renetta? Uh, 1976. Great. Seven. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's great. You guys have kids? Three. Three kids? Three kids. Three girls. Three girls, and it's 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 Mother's Day on uh, it's on on Sunday. So what are you what are you gonna get for Renetta, Al? Maybe the big one. Oh. <laughs> but I'm not his mother. No, no, no. I'm but not no, but you're the mother of his children. Yeah. Right. So he uh, he's gonna get you the big one, whatever that. Is. <laughs> Al, what, what are we talking about here? Uh, 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 the big gulp or the. Uh, <laughs> Extra fries? What are we talking about? Maybe both. Okay. Where are you guys from? Michigan. Oh, Michigan. Near Detroit? Yes. Oh, I like Detroit. Nah. I do. I do like you Detroit. Like the, yes. You like the Red Wings? Hockey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I can't get enough Red Wings. I was just saying to you, Ed. Wasn't I to you, Ed? I love the Red Wings, I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like hockey? Oh, yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, uh, are you uh, in any way Canadian? No. Uh, well, you like hockey. We're from Michigan. No. <laughs> so, uh, what about uh, Michael Moore? He's from Michigan. Do you like him? Who? Who? <laughs> That's show business. <laughs> well, uh, we're going to do our best to give you a safe and pleasant show tonight. In the unlikely event of any trouble, just follow the uh, security uh, instructions from Tien. She will guide you to the nearest exit. If uh, Jeff fills you up, please feel free to file a lawsuit to CBS. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> the entire lesbian room is on the show. Empty! Everybody here! <laughs> All right, ladies, when I uh, tap you on the shoulder, uh, please say your name. Summer. Dimple. Mega. What? <laughs> Dimple. Dimple? Yeah. How charming. Thank you. Mega. Jessie. Oh. <laughs> lovely girls. Uh, have you met before? <laughs> yes. yes. Where? At school. Oh, you were all at school together? Yes. <laughs> what, why are you here in Los Angeles? Do you from Los Angeles? No. no. Where are you from? Toronto. 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 Canadian lesbian! <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Don't worry, they're just like American lesbians, it's said more polite. <laughs> now, <laughs> so what, what, why are you in Los Angeles, uh, ladies? Vacationing. Oh, we vacation here? <laughs> but this is the second worst traffic in the United States. Uh, probably better than Toronto. <laughs> yeah. Oh, does Toronto have bad traffic? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's that's. What do you do in Toronto? What do you uh, do other than you know the obvious? <laughs> when we're not together. <laughs> yeah. I'm an accountant. An accountant, you say? Yes. I work for a children's hospital. Oh, that's nice. I'm a teacher. Uh huh. Of what? High school geography and history. Really? Yes. <laughs> What's the capital of Iceland? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. I could spell it. I don't know how to pronounce it. What's the first letter? R. Reykjavik, yeah! <laughs> you remove Canadian education. <laughs> Yeah, 
young lady then? What, what I'm you a student. Do? You're a student? <laughs> what are you studying? I'm at the University of Toronto. The University of Toronto studying? Health studies. Health studies. Yes. Well, that's rather nice. And uh, have the people of America been nice to you? Have you been around anywhere apart from Los Angeles? Yeah, we, we went to Vegas. Vegas. From Vegas. We just came back from Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The jokes are just writing themselves. No. <laughs> no, if they did that, no one would work. There. No, they're written by disappointed men who wish their careers had gone in different directions. <laughs> Anyway, uh, welcome uh, to America, um, and uh, if I think I speak for everyone in America... <laughs> yeah, why not? I speak for everyone in America when I say, stay as long as you like, help yourself to some free peanuts. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> Just, you know, don't, don't look nervous or anything, right? <laughs> Try not to look like I'm creeping you out. <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home. Stephanie. Stephanie. Where are you from, Stephanie? Uh, Walnut, California. Walnut? <laughs> Walnut, California? Walnut, yeah. Well, where's that? Near Pomona and Diamond Bar. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? I got my American citizenship at Pomona Fairgrounds. Yeah. Did you hear that noise there? <laughs> did you think I passed gas? You did, didn't you? My foot went like this on the thing. It went, boom. And then, and then I was like, oh, people, did anyone notice that? And then if, if I don't bring attention to it, people are, you're going to, Stephanie's going to be like, oh, God, that's creepy. <laughs> but I didn't. It's not Larry King. It's fine. You know, I, <laughs> but I got my citizenship at Pomona Fairgrounds. Were you, were you born American? Yeah. Well, you never had to do that then. No. Yeah. <laughs> No, at the fairground there, we had this big ceremony. It was uh, 3,000 new Mexican-Americans and one new Scottish-American. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> what do you do then, Stephanie? I go to school in Massachusetts. Boston, Massachusetts? Yeah. Harvard? Wellesley College. <laughs> <laughs> Smarter than I thought. <laughs> I may be being played for a fool. <laughs> so, Stephanie, if that is your real name, what are you studying? Environmental science. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> I really don't want to look stupid. <laughs> Of course, if I didn't want to look stupid, I would never have taken this job eight years ago. <laughs> so, you don't mind me doing Shakespearean asides, do you, at any point? Do you enjoy the work of Shakespeare? I'm in the Shakespeare Society at Wellesley. <laughs> <laughs> she must have known I was going to be here tonight. <laughs> this is a worry to me, a vexation of my spirit. I begin to think something Shakespearean, <laughs> which we could add later. <laughs> if only we weren't live. <laughs> Do you have a favorite of Shakespeare's plays? Midsummer Night's Dream. Ah, that's a beautiful one, isn't it? With the play within the play? Yeah. <laughs> Almost like a late night talk show within the late night talk show. <laughs> Have you ever played any uh, Shakespearean roles? I was Mustard Seed in Midsummer Night's Dream. A fairy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're very impressed. What is environmental science then? You study sustainability and conservation of the planet. <laughs> and how, how are we doing? We could do better. <laughs> are you making fun of me? <laughs> I think you're lovely. Thank Wait, how long are you going to be in the, in the college there? Two more years. Ah, and then? Study the environment for money. Yeah. <laughs>
Methinks she'll be doing a late night talk show like everyone else. <laughs> we'll be right back. And try and keep your tops on throughout the entire segment. <laughs> You should have been here earlier. <laughs> when I walk behind you and tap you on the shoulder, please state your name for the folks at home. Susan. Mm-hmm. Louise. Susan and Louise, eh? Now, Susan and Louise, are you on a crime spree? Yes. <laughs> no, really? Uh, what, what, what do you do for a living? I'm an animal control officer. I see. What kind of animals do you like to control? <laughs> All animals. Mm -hmm. do, do you have one of those sticks with a hoop on the end? Yes, and you, I do. And you grab things and you haul them to the ground? Things I really like. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and you, young lady, what do you do? Uh, I am unemployed. Ah, I see. Well. <laughs> exactly. But what, what, what do you do when you're not unemployed? I was an x-ray technician. X-ray technician, mm -hmm. eh? Ah. <laughs> well, I've been x-rayed before, and I've been wrestled to the ground using a stick in the hoop as well. <laughs> Are you ladies from Los Angeles? Yes. O.C. Ah, the Orange County. Mm. <laughs> now, in your crime spree <laughs> that you admit you're going on right now, do you have a convertible car? No. Do you have a convertible couch? <laughs> no. How do you travel around? Minivan. Minivan? <laughs> Put lotion in the basket. <laughs> Minivan? Minivans, I think, are, I always associate minivans a little bit with serial killers. Why is that? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> do you ever uh, do you ever control animals uh, on your spare time? Occasionally. Really? Mm -hmm. So if you weren't being paid to be an animal control officer, you would just control them anyway. If they needed controlling. Yeah. Do you ever get frightened of them? Yes, once in a while, not too often. Right. What's the most dangerous animal to corner? Rogue hamster. <laughs> Rogue gerbil. Gerbil. <laughs> What do we, dogs, I imagine, mad dogs, eh? Actually, um, badgers. Badgers, you say? <laughs> yeah, come here. You, are you serious about the badgers? Yes. All right, because, you know, if you're making the stuff about the badgers, you're going to make me look like an <laughs> Badgers, eh? Uh, why, why are they so dangerous? They're just really um, not friendly. They aren't, I know. I, I know that. They're curmudgeons. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we've all learned something. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. It has been noted by me that certain inconsistencies are creeping into lesbian room. <laughs> I don't want to make anyone feel embarrassed, I'm just saying. Anyway. <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name for the folks at home. Tina. Clarence. Hillary. Jump ball. <laughs> What's the deal, man? <laughs> All right, where are you from, John Paul? San Diego. San Diego? I Woo! love San Diego. That's, that's the home of the San Diego Superchargers. You, you like the football there, John Paul? Sure. Yeah. All right. Now, people have said to me, Craig, you're making a mockery of late night television. You're turning it into some kind of people-friendly game show. <laughs> that's right. So... <laughs> If you guys can answer a question properly, I'm going to send you off for a fabulous all-expenses-paid trip to San Diego. And... 
And, and this is for real, I'll send you to the top showbiz restaurant in Los Angeles, the Ivy, where all the celebrities go. And you can really go and we'll really pay for it and you can have dessert and everything. <laughs> I'm not kidding, this is not a joke, this is real, right? Right. <laughs> Calm down, studio audience. <laughs> all right, now all you have to do is answer a very simple question. All right. <laughs> well, I'll just get one then. All right, I'll use these ones from the big cash prize. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey? <laughs> not even a lesbian. <laughs> nah. In what country do people say? Oh, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. It's capital city. It's Reykjavik. In what country do people celebrate? Krampus night each December by dressing up as demons and roaming through the streets looking for the streets looking through the <laughs> looking through the streets looking for misbehaving children Krampus night is it a holiday in a Germany B Austria or C Switzerland or B Austria That could be a trick, a trick Do you guys you guys you guys want to confer <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, confer. You have a little kid. Put your hands together, brother. <laughs> the correct answer is, of course, B, Austria. <laughs> so, you guys figure it out? Yep. Uh, what do you think it is? We think it's B, Austria. Austria. It's the correct answer! You're right! The weird thing is, later on, these three guys may well actually walk into a bar. <laughs> no. <laughs> when, <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name for the folks at home. Ben. Where are you from, Ben? Uh, Atlanta. Yes. George. Where are you from, George? Miami. Uh-huh. James. Where are you from, James? SF. Where? SF, the city. S what, San Francisco? San Francisco, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's too long. What the hell? SF? <laughs> That's like if he said, I'm from A and I'm from M. <laughs> <laughs> Fix your hoodie up. Thanks so much. What is here? I know, I know the show is crap, but it's not helped in any way if you just, like, leave your hoodie open and stuff. I mean, it's, 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 it's I mean, these other guys here, look at them, they're all buttoned up. It's, 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 it's. <laughs> so, have you guys ever met before? No. no. Have we ever met before? No. 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 Maybe? You might have seen you in the Castro. You may have seen me in the Castro. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. So, we've never met before. So, if I were to perform some kind of conjuring trick right now, it would be very interesting, wouldn't it? Yes. Yes. Unfortunately, I can't do that. <laughs> now, please state your reason for being in Los Angeles. Why are you here? Uh, internship. Internship? Not here? No, not here. Well, no, not in the studio. Well, in, uh, at CBS? No. Where? Uh, down on Skid Row, actually. <laughs> You get college credit? Because <laughs> I maybe do a degree. <laughs> oh, you're doing, you're doing volunteer work? Uh, yeah, the Los Angeles Poverty Department, LAPD. Right. Yeah, well, good for you. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you in Los Angeles? Just moved here. You just moved here? Yeah. To get into show business? Yes. To get in, or are you already in show business? To get in. To get in. Right. What, what, what kind of work do you do? Uh, right now, I'm going to school. You're going to school? You don't need to be in school to go to show business, man! <laughs> what uh, school are you in? New York Film Academy. Oh, the Film Academy? Yeah. Are you going to be a director? Actor, director. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> if anybody offers you a late night talk show, just say yes, all right? Okay. <laughs> the money's not very good, but it's regular. And uh, uh, why, why are you in L.A.? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Travelling through. Just travelling through? Yeah. Would you, you walk the earth? <laughs> Perhaps. Well, looking for uh, injustices and stuff? <laughs> Trying to bleach other people's hair. Are you a, are you a hairdresser? No. <laughs> That's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a fighting profession. <laughs> Wait, do you know any hairdressers? Have you ever had your hair bleached? It's natural. That's natural? Of course. <laughs> we have to take a commercial break. I don't know where this is going. Oh, yes, I do. Commercials. Uh, we'll be right back. Two average sized American women. <laughs> And a giant from another country. <laughs> Please state your name for the folks at home, beginning here. Brenda. Brenda and? Ashley. Ashley, Brenda and Ashley. Where are you from, Brenda and Ashley? Maryland. Both of you? Yes. Yeah. What a coincidence. Do you know each other? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Do you always answer at the same time? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, how, how do you know each other? She's my mother. <gasps> How adorable. <laughs> now, let me ask you, Brenda and Ashley, if that's your real name. <laughs> Why are you both wearing purple? <laughs> it was a coincidence. <laughs> I just flew in today, and she... You just arrived today? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you live here? Mm -hmm. Where do you live? I live in Echo Park, L.A. Oh, don't tell us the exact address. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. I feel very tall. <laughs> Most people do. Yeah, yeah, I am quite tall. Yeah. <laughs> Not as tall as I feel right now, though. You know that, do you know that purple is a very ecclesiastical color? Are you both involved in the church in some way? Yes. Yeah. Are you? Really? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Um, I work in ministry. Really? Yeah. Uh, do you do that, too? No, I just attend church. <laughs> <laughs> but you work in the ministry. Mm -hmm. You must be very proud. Very proud. Uh, in the church, you're probably a big shot amongst the other heathens that don't have children that are in the ministry. <laughs> what does your child do? He's a doctor. Ah! <laughs> uh, so, uh, will you become a, an ordained uh, minister? Um, I'll be getting a degree and a pastoral degree. A pastoral degree? For counseling. So, you'll be able to help people like me? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Well, I, I feel I feel humbled. <laughs> Will you get to wear robes? No. I'd change my church if I. Was going to... <laughs> you know, if I was going to get involved in a, you know, being a, a, in the, you know, some kind of minister, I'd want robes and lots of them, big robes. And do you have any stuff to move around? Any of that? <laughs> you know, what about the, the sage? Do you have any burning sage? No. Well, what about snake handling? Did you do any snake handling? <laughs> Are you sure this is a church? All right, then. <laughs> well, I better not cuss for the rest of the night. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. We got to run, everybody. We're off to a Who You Losing the News concert. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>